By now, we've all heard how much people dislike the brand new 2024 Mega Tins, but I want to see how it's going to compare to the 2023 Mega Tins. We all love this one. We seem to all hate this one. But let's see what we pull better from. 2023 or 2024? Let's go. So we got the 2023 Mega Tin versus the 2024 Mega Tin. Let's see who wins. We all know notoriously the 2024 Mega Tin doesn't have the best rep. We're gonna open up the 2023 ones first, okay? Because 2024, of course, is newer. So let's start off with the 2023 ones and then I'm gonna get to talking to you guys a little bit because uh, I've now opened a lot of the uh, 2024 tins and I have mixed feelings. Now, when you hit, it's a great feeling. Hitting though, a little bit more difficult one thing i will say with these oh right off the bat stardust dragon absolutely insane card over here now right off the bat this is exactly what i was going to say this is what people loved about the 2023 tens over here the promos are absolutely insane now while you don't get a qcr in the packs like you do with the 20 um with the 25th anniversary or the not 25th anniversary with the 2024 mega tins essentially you get you know, a promo. And these promos are usually typically really good. Like the Starter Dragon is a very good card, right? It's good for Edison format, it's good for a lot of different things. You have the Exodia head, which actually funny enough, is one of the better ones to pull now if you're opening these tins because Exodia pieces have gone now up in price because of the actual pieces or QCR. There you go, English, English, English. But I will say the 2024 Mega Tins do have some bangers that, um, you know, the 2020, eh, let's see how, I haven't opened up 2023 in a long time. We have an Ice Jade Curse. Rake Phobia as a secret rare, that's not too bad. Majesty Pegasus as a secret rare is not too bad. I, I wish we, three secret rares. Blazing Cartesia is a great one as well over here. Wow. Daruma Cannon. Wait, is it supposed to be like that? No, right? No, no, no. Surely not. I haven't opened up the set in so long. There's no way. You don't get four secret rares, right? What happened to the Ultras? Wait, wait, wait. You guys tell me no you guys let me know in the comment section if I'm wrong here. Is that an is that a misprint? Is that a mistake? Wait. I'm actually genuinely like I'm not even trying to be like funny here. I I don't remember this tin having four Okay, okay. Let me know in the comment section down below. That was weird. That was weird. Four secrets is insane. Or Sartic Radiation. Han Shi. Okay, there's a, there's a super rare. Ariana Secret Rare, Fluandry's Advent Secret Rare, Kashir Unicorn Secret Rare, Showdown Secret Rare. Okay, maybe, maybe, if this is what was supposed to happen, maybe these tins are better. Four Secret Rares per pack. Yo, I gotta, wait, hold up. I actually, pause, pause video. I gotta look this up. There's no way this is real, right? A few moments later. Bro, this is an error. Oh my god, I'm watching Ruxin's video of him opening it up. You're supposed to get two secret rares. Oh my god, this is an error tin. We're getting four secret rares. I'm not making this up. Oh my... I, I knew it, because I'm like, is it like the, the, the Dynamorphia card's ultra rare in here? We're not... Yo! Wait a second. Did I just make this, uh, this opening not about the friggin' tins anymore? Is this just the misprint? Oh no. Okay, so we get our... Okay, we're supposed to have two ultra rares. Are we gonna get four secret rares again? This Coliseum, Sarnir, my, oh my, that's insane. That is insane. That is insane. Oh my god. Wait a second. That's actually cracked. That's insane. And we pulled some good secret rares too. I mean, Blaze, uh, what's it called? Blazing Cartesia, Kashir Unicorn, Sarnir, Magnum would have been good. Druce would have also been good. I didn't hit those, but that's insane. Okay. Okay, okay, good start. I will say the 2023 tins are winning right now. And that's not because we didn't open the 2024 tins. It's because that was a misprint tin, which is insane. What's, what's the promo here? What's the promo here? Okay, Blackwing, that's not bad. That's fine. That's cool. I mean, you're getting promos, right? And the promos are... At the end of the day, getting the promos guaranteed is cool. Even though with uh, the other sets... Here, yeah, I'm going to put these over here. Even though with the 24th anniversary or 2024... 2024 megatons what am i saying the 2024 megatons even though you get a qcr per pack the ones on the tin you're not even guaranteed as like a promo right which kind of sucks because i feel like the promos were such a selling point for tins and i'm not sure why konami just decided to go off that there's no way this tin also does that right there's no way this tin also has no ultra rares right there has to be an ultra rare Catrugina. there we go there we go we're back to normal now we're back to normal that was insane beyond the pendulum lightheart over here is pretty good too there we go oh i mean not really there we go honestly i would have preferred more of the more of the errors that was crazy. 
Oh my god, that's not something I was expecting to happen at all. That really took the video for a turn because now I'm sitting here like, do I thumbnail the video 2023 versus 2024? Or do I just thumbnail it misprint to Myus? And Runic Tip is a good one. Runic Tip's actually a really, really good print here. Wow, okay. Okay, so that's two tins right there. Um, oh, no, 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 we got one pack. We got one more pack. Guys, I don't know. I kind of want to open. I have like five of these tins laying around. But there's no way all of them are, because I mean, clearly they're not all, right? Because this one's not uh, aired, right? This is regular? Yeah, 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 let's not get my hopes up. Let's see if we can pull a, a Drew Swim, though. Drew Swim would be insane here. Okay, okay, Drew Swim. Ellis, and Drew Swim. Four years, not bad. You know what, that's not bad. Here, here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. Look how many secret rares we just pulled. Look how many secret Okay, granted, we're not, we're not supposed to be getting all those secret rares, but that's a lot of secret rares. Okay, so you know what? Runic Tip. Kashtiri Unicorn, Blazing Cartesia, Visio Sarnia. These are some good pulls right here. I'll be honest with you. I think the 2023 tins are winning right now. I'll be honest. I think they're winning. But let's put these to the side now, just right over here. While we get into our 2024 tins, these are going to be really fun to open. I, re I still really like the 2024 Mega Tins. I still think the set is really cool. Unfortunately, I've noticed from my openings, because I've done a lot of openings now, you know what I'll do actually? Because there's no promo in this one either. I'll just open up all the packs while I talk. But because there's no uh, promo, um, no, not because there's no promo. Because there's so many cards, it is difficult to pull the cards that you want. I'll be honest with you. I'd be completely lying to you guys if I said it wasn't true. However, I will say there are so many good cards in this set that it makes you feel a little bit better. If you guys watch some of my past openings, some of the pulls were okay. Some of them were okay. Some of them were not great, but some of them were okay. Let's, uh, it's gonna be hard, man. It's gonna be hard to top that though. I'll be honest with you, it's gonna be really, really hard. Really, really hard. Because, I mean, this set we know, how okay. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. So we got an ultra rare, singularity. Not a bad secret rare over here. Opening, good one of, good one of. That's not bad, see, that's not bad. Now, where it gets bad is if I open another opening, that's gonna be kind of rough, right? What I wanna pull here, ideally for the secret rare slots is a Trident Dragion, because funny enough, I actually really need one. Uh, SP Little Knight Thrust are always going to be the best ones, of course. There's no question there. And Chaos Angel is a really good one, honestly. You know what? Not too upset about that one. And Giant Train and a QCR. You know what? That's a good one-off to have. Like, if you if you don't own the card, that's a pretty good one-off to have. So, so Giant Trainer, opening, Spirit Gates, not too bad. So, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Like, I get it. The, the 2024 tins, now that I've opened them up, I understand how, how tough it is. However, it is still, it's just such a fun set to open, man. And I, I can't, I can't lie. Like I've, I'm kind of addicted to opening the set right now. I'm not even sure what it is. It's not even that great of a set. Favorite contact is a good secret right here as well. Ubel is a great QCR, amazing QCR at the pull. That's a really, really good one, honestly. We pulled opening, Dynamundo is a good ultra rare too. We pulled opening and then we pulled the Ubel. So there's actually some big hitters that we've hit so far. I like this. I like this. I like this. That was a good tin. That was a good tin. I, I, I can't get over the, the, the misprint on the other tin though. Four secret rares is crazy. Snake Eye Ash. Snake Eye Ash. Pancratops, baby. Never gonna complain about that. That's a staple. Pancratops over there. Um, the ultra rares though, I'll be honest with you. I'm not, I don't know how I feel about the ultra rares. I'm gonna put these over here just so we have a better understanding at the end of the video. I'm gonna show you guys everything that we pulled. And at the end of the video, you guys can kind of decide what, what was better, what was better. At the end of the day, it's, at the end of the day, it's RNG, right? I might pull better from the 2024 tins. Doesn't mean they're better. We have Centurion Legatia. That's a good one. I needed one of those. I needed one of those. And a Utopia Double. This is actually like my fourth one, funny enough. This is legitimately like my fourth one that I pulled. I pull a lot. That, that Utopia Double loves me. I don't know what it is. But at the end of the day, I think the only thing that they actually missed with the tins, if I'm being 100% honest, is the promos. If they just included the cards at the front of the tins as promos, I feel like we would feel a lot better about this set. Cubalt is a good ultra rare. Um, you know what? QCR and secret rare right over here. Decent, decent, decent. Cool, 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 cool. Let's go for our secret rare. Our last pack, our last secret rare we have. Dark Magician Girl Alternate Art. That's an insane one. That's a good one. Anytime you're pulling the alternate arts in this set, I feel like it's a really, really good one. I know meta-wise, it's not the best, but it's a really cool card. This is the only time it's gonna be reprint it's gonna be printed, and it might not be printed ever again. So this is a really, really cool one. And for the QCR, we have the right leg. Is this the right leg? Oh, the right leg. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Getting the pieces is not too bad. This is what I was talking about. This is why the uh, promo for Exodia has been so expensive. You guys let me know at the end of the day what you guys think. Do you guys think 
that uh, the 2024 tins were better. How? What do you guys think of the pulls? Like Pankratop's a good one. Ubel's a good one. We got Giant Trainer um, opening. Pretty, pretty good. However, I will say, although these cards are technically here, this was pretty insane. Runic Tip is a good one. We got like Beyond the Pendulum, Bistil, Sarnier. I mean, the, the misprint, the error is pretty insane. I don't know, guys. It's, it's really up to you at the end of the day. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you guys prefer the 2023 Megaton or the 2024 Megaton? In my opinion, they're both really, really cool. The 2024 Megaton does have its flaws. I'm not gonna be, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It does have its flaws but it's really fun to open. The 2023 one, the promos are really cool though. So let me know in the comment section down below. I appreciate every one of you. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys did enjoy for more content just like this one. And we do deck profiles, combo videos, vlogs, all that good stuff. You'll catch it right here on the channel. So thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Wouldn't be able to do this without you guys. So honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys all. And with that, thank you signing out. Peace.